Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Planet Coaster. In the last episode we made this thing. Look at it go. The mine train canyon runner roller coaster thing that zips around our entrance to the Westworld hub. Oh look at it go. I love it. I love seeing it in action. I could just watch this all day. Um, I have done some minor tweakage since last episode. Uh, just sort of smoothing out little rough sections and adding a little bit of detail here and there. But um, what I want to do today is just, I don't know, I feel like I can't really do much until I get uh, at least some paths put down and just to get a better idea of where things are going to go. So we're definitely going to make the entrance to this ride today. Um, and then we'll see what else. I have a feeling today is going to be very sort of clip based, like I'm going to cut away and come back and then cut away and come back. Um, because montages take too long, or should I say like fast forwards, um, take a bit too long to do. So let's have a look at what I've done. So I think I might do stuff like this. Um, this is an archway, which I think I showed before, uh, but it looks good as like a sort of mine support system, like the uh, support beams. So I might put these in a few places. I need to kind of neaten up this whole bit where we sort of miss... Oh, <laughs> where we sort of misplaced the tunnel where it dug out in the wrong place, like here. Probably need to close that in a little bit. What else did I do? So if we go through the canyon... Oh, you'll see I've changed the path. Um, I changed it into this, which is actually a natural path. Instead of a, a normal one like this, where it has a proper solid filling, natural paths show the ground underneath them. They're pretty much invisible, but guests will still walk you know, between the two borders and I think that's better because then um, I don't know it seems more natural it feels like they're actually walking through a canyon now and not just a, a really oddly placed sand path so come through here Do -do 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 -do. looking very good we will put something in here maybe just a small little diorama like a little uh hey maybe like a bandit shootout or something we'll see uh, but as we come through here haha I've moved this around a little bit so this is just the same shops and things and buildings that I showed last episode, I just moved them from over here to here. So this is going to be the view when you come in um, to Westworld. There's definitely going to be a train station now, come to think of it. Maybe we'll put the train station... Oh, I don't know, actually. Maybe on this side? Because we definitely have to incorporate the Connie Express at some point. Because as we've said before, it's going to have to go between the here. So yeah, maybe it could go through there and then... I don't know. Oh, look, it splashes when you put it in the mauler. Haha. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, what else did I do? Sort of painted the whole terrain so it's now all sand and rock, so it sort of feels a lot more westerny. And I did a little bit of work here. I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, what else I did was I put some more supports on. So you may think this looks ugly, but I don't know. It's still a theme, a theme park at the end of the day, so I think it works. Is it, This bit is a little bit much, but eh, it's okay. And I like the way you walk underneath it, so... And it looked odd, it was just floating before, so I had to put some of the supports back in. I think it looks fine. I think it looks fine. And actually, at the end of the track round here, when it slows down, I think because it slows down here, it would be a good place to put another little sort of scene happening. Maybe we could have a little, a little cave or a little mine... Um, with maybe some explosions going on as if they're oh, as if they're trying to uh, you know get some gold from the mine shaft or something. We can do that with um, as I showed before special effects. Things are like explosions. Large we want. Oh western. Oh there you go. Shove one of these in. We can trigger it so that will time just as people whoosh by on the roller coaster. Yeah, that'll be good. But I'm not too focused on this bit for now. For now it's uh, all about this area here. You can see I've plonked down uh, one of the buildings that we got over in the entrance. I just copied and pasted that one right there. Just to sort of get an impression of what I want it to look like. And we're not going to use the same building. I'll make a new one. But I think it's a good template. I want to have a sort of a building... Go away now. A uh, building over the station just so we cover up this ugliness. And then we need to start thinking about queue paths, um, exits, priority passes, uh, decorating the, the queue, because that is a factor. If we have a look, did I actually show you this screen? I don't think I did. So if we have a look at... Uh, do 
to rename it as well at some point. Um, have a look at this dialogue box. We see we haven't really got any statistics yet because no one's used it, but we can have a look at the queue time, how long they're waiting, how much it's making, how many people use it. Uh, and also this one here, queue scenery rating. So if they're waiting a long time, customers don't want to be bored looking at nothing. They want trees, they want water features, they want animatronics along the queue to keep them interested. So we definitely need to uh, decorate that as well. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I'm going to get on with building something similar to that here, covering this building. Maybe something up there as well. I've got a rough idea, but this is one of the things where a fast forward won't work because I'll be too long. I reckon I'm going to change my mind a few times. Anyway, wish me luck. I'll see you on the other side. Alright, I'm back. Hello. Ooh, I feel like I've been building for a very long time. I think I have, but doesn't matter. It's been great. So, here's what I've done so far. Sort of a mine factory type building. Pretty big. Uh, very big, in fact, actually. Much bigger than the ones around the front, which I sort of based it off of. As we go around here. Yeah, so it's meant to look a bit like these ones, but um, just bigger in scale. Because, hey, it's a big roller coaster. It needs a big entrance. And I'll just go into some of the details of what I've done. So, my logic behind it, you know, they, they process maybe some of the ores, some of the rubble, some of the gold or whatever they have from the mines. So... You know, you've got, the, you've got the usual pulleys and stuff like that up here. Uh, I don't think I put anything in here because you won't be able to see it. Um, but down here, for example, let's go into this camera mode. If I can learn how to use it. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we've got some minecarts here. And these are actually girders. Iron girders. But I figure they look a bit like spouts. So it could be where, you know, like the processed gold shoots out of. Um, and into the minecarts. That sort of thing. I quite like that. But yeah, I feel like I've got quite a lot of uh, layers into this building. You know, it goes in and up and in again, up, out here. Just makes it look more 3D, more depth, not just a flat, boring building. And as per usual, shove down a few barrels, shove down a ladder or two. Uh, up here is actually very interesting. I'm, I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. So I was looking at pictures of mills or factories or mines from Wild West. And a lot of them had sort of a, a mine a minecart track coming out of them. And so I, at first I was going to use something like, where is it? In scenery, there is track you can use just to place down like this. So I was going to put this down and um, have this coming out this top bit. But once I'd done this shape, I realised, oh, how am I going to put supports in? How am I going to make it like a bridge so it's not just floating? Well... Instead of you know doing loads and loads of polygons of, of items, and well, that would be hundreds of items to do something similar to this, using loads of planks, I kind of cheated a little bit, and I think it's turned out really well. Like, I love the look of this. And this is, in fact, a wooden roller coaster. But it's just not finished. So I snuck the entrance to it in here, and... Oh my god, there's a guy here as well. Oh, I'm sorry. You're, you're pretty much trapped in here. Because this is just for show. This is never going to actually run. I just wanted it just to get this this bridge work, the support detail. So I made the track come around to here and just stopped it. And hid that in there, covered it up, put a little archway thing, and then we're done. And I really think that looks great. And it's so much easier than doing all this by hand. Uh, hopefully you should lag the game a lot less anyway. Right, so that's the building. Obviously I had some smoke and things, but that's pretty much it. I did this little one down here, I, I figured maybe the path or the queue could go through a little building, like a little extra warehouse type thing. So that's what this is, just very, very simple. Nothing too detailed yet. Didn't didn't do it yet because I figured let's get the path sorted first. So I'm going to try and do some of this on stream. On stream? I'm not streaming. On camera even. And we'll see how it goes, but this could be a bit of a nightmare, the pathing system. So let's sort out the, the queue first. So actually no, let's go back over here. Because we've got to get a path to somewhere near there. And I don't know whether I want to now switch to... Do I want to keep this style of path? Where it's like this? Or do I now want to switch to sand? Now see, if I switch to sand now, it might just look weird. Yep, it looks weird. That just looks weird. I guess we're sticking with this natural path the whole way through them. Oakley doakley. 
It's a bit too wide. Let's change it to six. Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, change it to six. So what I want to do is I want to wrap it around here first. I want the entrance to kind of go up this way. Q here. Exit can... I like the idea of a... I like the idea of paths following the this kind of bit of cliff face that I made. So it kind of wobbles around there. We'll see if we can do that. The, the problem I'm having is, is making them come down like... This sort of... Oh, it's just a nightmare. Anyway, let's uh, let's have a go. Let's put this there. Let's make it a little bit longer. Let's just see how nice we can make this. I want it quite nice and smooth. Um, okay, that's a bit too close to that one. Let's back it up a little bit. Because I don't want the path to go right to the very edge of the park, because then we can't put anything to hide it. And we don't want guests to, to see this. This view's not very good. We want some sort of scenery to kind of block the view, so I want it to come a little bit, a little bit further away from the edge, maybe like there. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then, you know, who knows where that's going to go? We'll just do that for now. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. I like that. Now let's get the path going up this way. Right, this is going to be tricky because. We need to get a nice little top tip for you here if you're playing Planet Coaster. If you want to get paths looking a little bit nicer, for example, uh, let's say you're trying to do get a new path going. There we go. Say I want to connect this path to that one. See how right at the end it's doing some weird... I'm pointing at my monitor. <laughs> right at the end here it's kind of curving weirdly because it, it wants to attach to the path at a, at a perfect 90 degrees. If you want to stop that from happening, press Z, and then you get a nice fork in the road, and it snaps on to an angle instead. There you go, there's my top tip. But I think we need to try and do that here, in fact. So let's get a new path going. I'll line it up to here, roughly. Oh, oh, we can't have stairs like this, can we? Oh, no. Oh, this is going to look weird then, isn't it? Because we can't... Oh, my goodness. Z? Does it work with stairs? It doesn't. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Stairs are going to look weird because we can't have see-through stairs. Um... Oh, this is this is this is the problem. This is it. This is it right here, folks. There must be a way to do what I want to do. Let's just shorten it a little bit. Okay, down. I mean, even a ramp would be. Nope. All right, I might need to um, do a little bit of fiddling here. I don't want to waste much of the episode with this stupid thing. Like, I just want to connect there. That to that. Just do it. What is it doing there? Oh, my God. Uh, I'll be back once I've got this sorted out. Well, would you look at that? I only went and did it. The path is now all nice and natural. Smoothly. Well, I say smoothly. As smoothly as I could get it heading up this path. You know, it's a little bit bumpy here and there, but eh, that's fine. It's supposed to be Wild West. It's... It can just, you know, fit with the, the theme, I guess. And it's much, much better than those unsightly stairs suddenly transitioning in. So, all I did was just smooth it out enough to get the path to go up. And we've even got a nice little entrance here now with the rocks. So, all right. Here we go. Step one done. That was probably the hardest bit, to be honest. Now we've got this bit. Um, maybe I should get rid of this first. Maybe we should just move this just for now. Um, did I just delete you? What did I just do to you? Just just move, will you? What are you over there for? Oh, because there's a... Oh, <laughs> there's a piece of its scenery over there for some reason. I must have misclicked. Where are you? It's you, isn't it? Sometimes you can do that. If like you click wrong, it will place it miles away. And then you get weird things like... And oh, I just delete the whole thing. Alright. You're getting on my nerves now. Little building. You need to go. Go over there. Okay. Alright, so... Let's... Do we start on this end or do we start on that end? I put the entrance here. And the exit to the right is here. So they come in. They... And do you know what the... Oh, I didn't actually show you the inside of this, did I? The inside doesn't look too bad, in fact. I need to kind of dress it up a little bit. 
and that's a bit weird. But just a few lights and, you know, it doesn't have to be that detailed. Like, there's some rock here and there's a bit of, this, oh, there's a bit of the, <laughs> the roof missing, but I can dress that all up later on. Yeah, so they come in here, get on the ride, and they exit on the same side. They just come out of... Oh, this camera. I'm going to say that every episode. Uh, they come out of there, and here's the exit. Okay. T. Let's start. Let's start on this end. So I think we need to go on to ride, place, or connect entrance to path. Here we go. Well, what path do we want to use, or rather what queue? The wood one's quite nice. Is there a sand one? That's brick. That's too dark. Oh, that's kind of good. What is that? Concrete. Is that sand? No, that's just orange. Mm. Eh, we can change it. Oh, no, actually, yeah. Let's have it as this, because then it changes the inside as well. Yeah. Oh, will concrete look better? No, no, no. Definitely wood. Definitely wood. Okay. So, here's something I've sort of had to figure out what I want to do because so far when I've been kind of practicing with build and, and cues I've always made the uh, the cues go at nice tight angles like this snapping them to 90 degrees just to make them very efficient and do this sort of snake in and out because to an extent that's what that's what cues are actually like you know they want to fit as many people into a small amount of space but at the same time it's pretty ugly isn't it it's pretty ugly. So I think what I'm going to do is go with a similar-esque design, but just a little bit more natural. So that's too long. Let's just keep it like that then. So um, if we just sort of like... Uh, now we want it a bit longer. Just sort of wrap it around... A little bit. And now I've realised I've got no place to put the uh, <laughs> the building. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. And plus that's that's too big of a... That's too big. Oh, this is going to be tricky actually. Right, let's, let's fix this building. There you are, over there. You go away. Good. Uh, move this. Zoom way back in. Right, so I want this building to be here. I want it to be here. Or just as, as lined up as I can possibly be to that path. Which I think is probably there. And really I'd like the entrance of the ride to be inside here. That would be pretty good. So the woman's standing here um, at the beginning of the entrance. Which would mean we need the path or the queue to stop right here. Right, let's see if we can do this. We might have to go with the rather ugly but efficient um, snaking. Let's have a look. Uh, or maybe we don't. I don't know. I just don't know. I'd like to know your feedback on this sort of stuff because... I don't know. That's the whole point in the series. Well not, well, not the whole point, but one of the things we can do in this series is share ideas. That's not going to... Hmm. I can't... Oh, that's really bad. That's bad. You know what? For now, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's do this. Uh, and then we can go up. Now, we also have to think about uh, a part of the game, an aspect of the game called Priority Pass. And that is where guests can buy like a VIP ticket and then they can get into onto rides faster. Oh, 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 is that gonna Okay, turn off angle snap here. Yes. Oh that's it, that's perfect. And then back to paths. Oh! Oh! <gasps> um, that's a bit weird looking, but I guess that will work. It's too wide. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. 
Is that what I want? I think that's what I want. Something like that. That's a bit weird looking here, but that's alright. I don't know why that's not... Um... Hey, you. Can you be the, the wood, please? Why are you the weird stone? I don't know. Or can you at least be sand? Alright. Oh, oh, hang on. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. I guess it's just because it's not... Mm. Oh, who knows? Alright, so... There's the higgledy-piggledy path, which doesn't look that bad, actually. We can have a nice thing going on here. Um, but let's set up the priority pass, which I think should work. What Basically, what you need to do is put... Well, I'll just show you. So, let's put the priority pass entrance... Um, here. The exit can go right as close as it can do to the... Oh, that should really be a right angle. Um... Oh, I really shouldn't... I really shouldn't get too fussed over this, but I am. I've got to select the grid. Select the grid. Have I got a grid? Yeah, there. There it is. Alright, square edges. Can I put a square in? square edge in there? No, it won't let me. Damn you! Damn you! Okay. Fine. I have to go a bit of a wonky angle, I guess. And then if we connect these two together... Now you can snap back on. Plop, plop, plop. Please go nicely. Oh! Obstructed. Why? Hey, there you go. A little bit of a bump. That's really bad. That's really bad. Um, but the point is that... Uh, so people who have VIP, they can come around here. It's like, oh, actually, we can go this way. And skip this whole... Well, I say whole, it's not that much. But, you know, a bit more of the queue. And this is a good incentive for people to buy uh, priority passes. And then you get more money. Which I know we're not too focused about in this game. But if you are doing a career mode, this is how you get more money. And they come right here, right to the front of the queue, and they get to go on first. So, there you go. Now, this is looking pretty awful, I'll be honest with you. Let me have another break. Let me see if I can get this just in any way neater and nicer. Maybe try and sort out this area. And I'll be right back. And welcome back to World of Muckluck, where I've now got the queue system looking pretty nice, if I do say so myself. I've sorted out the exit. I'm going to go through it now. Um, let's have a look. Bring back the screw. Oh, let's keep it off. Why not? Go into this mode and I'll show you what I've done. So, just sort of reposition bits here and there. Made this nice and centered now so it doesn't look as weird. Um, hello. Hello there, guy. Waiting for customers. Don't worry, there'll be some soon. If I kind of go up, give you a little look. So, this is now how it looks. I know it looks a little bit spaghetti, higgledy piggledy, but I think it looks fine. Um, I think it looks more natural than having the perfectly 90 degree uh, turns and this now makes a lot more sense so they <laughs> it's actually worth it because you know if you get priority pass instead of going all the way around do -do 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 -do, like that you just go boom and you're straight there straight at the uh, the entrance so priority pass is definitely looking better and what I've also done is if we go through so this is the way they go priority pass goes through there but um, I didn't want this view to be too... Like, if I get rid of this... Look at that. Looks terrible. I tried putting some rocks there, but I don't want to... I don't want to always use rocks as a natural border, because it could get very overdone. Like, I don't want the whole place to be uh, covered in, in rock walls, so to speak. So I put this building down. It's basically just a shack with some, some walls along the side. But I think it does a really good job of enclosing the space so you don't immediately see that big green field and you still feel like you're part of the, the Wild West theme park. And you know, we've still got to put trees and bushes and signs and things. But for now, like you can go through the shack. Look at this, you go through here, go underneath this bit. We might put some more decoration around here. Um, and look at this view. Like, oh, this view around here, I love it. That looks great. In fact, can I screenshot that? I don't know. I don't know why you can take screenshots in this game, but that might be the thumbnail right there. Um, 
So there's only one thing left to do, really. What I want to do to end this... Oh, actually, there might be another thing. Oh, should I try and do it? I thought it might be quite cool to maybe put a shop. Like, I put this little thing on here. It might be quite cool to put a shop right near the entrance. Okay, never mind that. I probably just cut that all out because I tried to put a shop in. A little bit dodgy, a little bit laggy for some reason. It didn't quite work. We're fiddled with that. Um, we will put some shops next to some rides at some point, but just not here. So instead, I'll just put a door and some stuff around here instead. But um, it was a nice idea. So to end the episode, there's one thing I want to do, and that is to get some people on the ride. I want to see this place actually, you know, being used. So... All these paths have worked out. They should be fine. If I go to this, go to the uh, roller coaster, can I click you? There we go. Oh, I've got to test it again for some reason. Let's just speed the, the test through. Hurry up and finish. Oh, it's looking nice this area now. When we get the smaller details in, like the trees and the, the scenery and the foliage and stuff. Oh, it's going to look nice. There we go. Test. And if I press open, this will get some little sparks. Yay! Some confetti. Let's go on to normal speed again, very quickly. But yeah, if I carry on doing stuff like over here, I tested, you know, putting some, some more bushes and some spiky cactus plants. This needs to kind of continue over this side a little bit and maybe around here. But as I'm saying this, guests should be heading towards this ride. I'm hoping they should be coming through the, the canyon. Come on, where are you? Let's fast forward. <gasps> Here they come! <laughs> this will be the first time any guests have actually went on the rides, or on, on one of my rides, so... Oh, this place does need to be lit up. It's very, very dark. Oh my god, there's loads of them! They're loving it! Yes! And so that should also mean... I'll keep it on super fast, actually. That should also mean that... Oh, this camera. Really? Are, are they going to buy the priority passes? Again, you're not even open priority passes. You're, you're not... You're not helping me in that regard. Come on. People need to buy their passes. Yeah, like these people. Because now they can use them. Oh. Over here. Oh, look at them come in. Yes. Oh, this is brilliant. I love it when you can see, like, everything come together. Oh, here they go. Who's this? Who's the first person on? You. 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 It's Laurie McMullen. I can't believe how cheap Canyon Runner tickets are. Well, that's fine by me. I'm not in it for the money. You didn't do Priority Pass, though, did you? I wonder if anyone will. Let's go to Superfast again, see if anyone has bought Priority Pass. Nope. It, hmm, I don't, know, I don't know why. It might be because... Annoyingly, it might be because the... The information booths are technically outside of the park because they're the booths are here before people actually go through this bit which is the park entrance but then people do go up to it but then they just turn away straight away so I don't know what are these people saying I haven't been on the ride in ages someone needs to clean that sick up oh well we don't care about the sick let's see how people get on the ride oh look at them get on Tea. Yeah. Now another thing we need to do, thinking about it, is actually sort out all of the uh, kind of maintenance systems, or what is it? It's operations, so we can sort out. We want it on a three-quarter load before it starts running. We want, you know, I'm going to get into this later on, but you can sort out max waiting times, minimum waiting times, number of uh, trains, and. All this sort of stuff. In fact, I want it. I want it full load. It will only go when there's a full load. Because I think there's enough people wanting to get on. Oh yeah, business is booming. Boom! This guy's got a hat from somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, I think it's full. Off they go. Quickly, let's go into someone's face. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is. I love this. This is great. Hello. Hello. Hopefully no one's sick next to me. Oh, here we go. Well, she looks happy, doesn't she? Oh, look at my arms. 
<laughs> oh. oh yeah, arms up. This bit coming up is quite scary. Oh, big drop. Oh yeah. Well, I think they like that. Oh yeah, she's lovely. Look at her go with a little dance. Oh yeah. I think you liked it. Brilliant. Alan Mooney. Do they have thoughts about it? Uh, do we, you can actually look at how they thought, what they thought about the uh, about the ride. I want to go on Canyon Runner. Yes, good value. Um, and the all oh, the Q scenery ratings are already forty. What's that? Six percent. So that's pretty good already. We haven't even put any trees and stuff down yet. So brilliant, man. Yeah, people are people are queuing up, ready to get on. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to leave them to uh, enjoy their time in the park and end the episode here. So, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.